Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and we are back again today guys with another episode of the Terra Firma Punk. And uh Yeah, you know, I want to go caving today. <laughs> we got this cool bronze armor last episode. Finally, we worked hard to get this stuff. It's amazing. It's going to protect us a little bit better. Uh but not not entirely. We're still going to have to be careful here. But uh, now we can be a little bit more we can we can play a little bit more risky with stuff. So caving is super fun in Terra Firma Punk. Um, if you look at our Y coordinates, you can see we're at like Y142 right now. It's not like normal Minecraft where sea levels at Y64. You spawn way up uh, in the sky, and the, the cave systems are huge. Like they go way down in in this, well, which makes them pretty fun to explore. And they also use like a different generation compared to like normal Minecraft. So like something like this, you don't see every day, right? <laughs> Just this giant hole going into the depths of the earth here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty fun to go exploring and caving and stuff in this. And I have no idea what we're going to find because I haven't done it a whole lot. Oh, we got to be careful here. This is a, quite the fall if we mess that up. Uh, let's look around, make sure I'm not going to get knocked off here. Make sure we got a way to get back up. Yeah, like, look at this. It's really cool, too, because there's, like, these huge caverns and stuff underground. Um, yeah, it's just very, very different. We got the stalagmites and stalactites around to kind of decorate things, too. That's a squirrel. <laughs> Got to keep our eyes open for mobs. Man, this is huge, this cavern. Look at this thing. It's a little bit dark. It's hard to see, but... This is, like, crazy. I don't remember it being this crazy. This is really crazy. Which way do we go, little guy? Lead us. Lead us to the treasure. What you think down there? Okay. There's a white spider. Oh, okay, um, that's a spawner and a chest. So I think we might have a roguelike dungeon nearby here too. That might be what this is. Is this like a spider we can kill? I've never seen a white spider. These guys are fine. These guys are no threat to us. We do actually kind of need some string, so this would be nice to farm a little bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can we get up here some way? Yeah, let's go. Let's do the wrap around here. Oh, okay. Big spider does hurt. Big spider hurts quite a bit, actually. Oh, a little more than I would like, in fact. Okay, we got him. Oh, little spiders hurt too. And that ends our caving adventure. <laughs> Already. Oh, snap. Okay, we survived. Uh, we're getting out of here, though. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to regroup, rethink our plan here. Why was this a mistake, and should we come back? Um, yeah, even with the armor, we're taking so much damage, guys. Like, I would love to go look around here, but I don't know if we're ready. Well, I think we will try that again. We're going to let our health recover here first. Uh, just back at the base, I noticed we got some ice forming in the water. It is winter time. Um, and we're going to try to do that seller's mod thing today too, maybe. Because I think we can only get ice during the winter for this. So there's something called an ice saw we need. So we're going to try craft one of those. I got some double bronze ingot in here heating up so we can work it on the anvil. And I've tried this twice now and failed. <laughs> uh, let's hope this is the, the one. Get nice and hot here. And... Alright, let, let's give this a go. So we throw it in, select our plan, ice saw. So we gotta do draw, upset, draw, upset, and then a hit to finish it off. And the, the final move here, the green and the red arrows have to line up. Okay, I got I got lucky that time. That was my third attempt, though. Okay, here we go. No, we don't. There we go. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, so we got ourselves Bismuth Bronze Ice Saw. So I think all we gotta do is head down to the water here, and we can start chopping up this ice. 
that forms, and then maybe that won't melt right away. And then we use this for cooling down the cellar. Yeah, it did give us to us. Okay, good. Is that like a resource that doesn't disappear? Because it doesn't look like it has a durability. Not too sure how this works. I've never done this before. We'll just take a few of these. Okay, so now we actually got to build this, the food cellar here. And I think we're going to put it underneath our house. I've started uh, hollowing out an area here. We need like a 9 by 9 by I think 3 or 4 tall area. So we'll like come down the stairs here and then it, it'll be to the, the left of us. Uh, and we actually built our house above a copper deposit. So this is kind of nice. We'll get some stuff out of this. And this is the floor of our, our main area. So we don't have to worry about it about it caving in on us either here. But uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> These are not exactly the fastest of tools, so I'll be back with you guys once I got the area all hollowed out. All right, cool, cool. So check this out. We got it hollowed out a whole nine by nine by four tall area. Our pick is like half used up now. <laughs> that took a bit of time, but we got it done. Uh, now we got to build the thing. So. There's a few blocks for this this cellar. First off, the ice bunker is kind of the main thing. That's what you put the ice in to cool the whole place down. Um, let's go ahead and chop up some stuff here. All right, so that's just two of these big planks and four of the little planks makes the, the heart of the thing. And I think we'll put that right in the center. So nine by nine, that will be one, two, three, four, right where the torch is actually. Cool. So now I think this also tells us if it's a complete structure or not. Yeah, the cellar has a problem with walls or has no doors. Check the structure if the air will appear after one minute. So it's incomplete. Uh, what we got to do then, line all the walls with walls. And it looks like we're going to need more planks. Yeah, as many of these as we can get though for right now. Good. So the whole floor and all the walls have to be lined with this stuff. That's going to take a lot, actually. We didn't get too many from that. Oh my goodness, not even close to enough. So I made another 96 here. Looks like we're going to need at least another 64. Maybe more. Yeah, probably even more. And we are all out of clay, so let's go Let's go uh, mine up some clay, I guess. At least I think we used it all up. Got two pieces there. That's it, right? Yeah. Gotta go mine some clay. Oh my goodness, this guy is so scary. <laughs> I have never seen this one before. Isaac, it is Isaac. You not hurt me, buddy? He's taking durability though, right? We gotta kill him. Oh no, he is hurting me. He is hurting me. Dude, that knockback is insane. Stop it. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that doesn't kill him. Uh, we got another guy. And he's stronger. How fun. Let's, uh... Kind of block him in there if we can. Choke life steal. And leave my house, you abomination. I think we got one shot left. He's almost dead. Unless there's another stage. Oh, we got another shot yet. Okay, we can we can finish him. Oh no, it, it is empty. Okay, we used up all our shots. We do have our bow though. <laughs> our wimpy little bow. Come on. We gotta hold it a lot longer to charge it. There we go. Oh, 95. So close. Whoa! Okay, he's still not dead. Oh, and he hit our food! Oh, his head came off. No! This is, this, everything about this is wrong. He's probably like a super melee guy now. This is like some kind of boss, man. Three stages. Thankfully, we got... Ooh. Maybe we don't have him trapped. We are running kind of low on health here. 
We gotta cheese the rest of this fight. Oh, oh. Please stop that. We are very... I think he gave me weakness or something. I got some particles. He's on fire now. He's like... He's like lighting everything on fire around him. What a weird, weird guy. Please be the final stage. Is it zero? He's dead. He's dead, right? Oh man, that was a that was a weird weird little guy. Did he actually drop anything? Oh he did. Uh oh there's another stage! No! <laughs> It's his head. Oh, I think he just dropped a knife. It might be enchanted though. I don't know if I can kill this guy. Did we make regen potions? Oh, we did. Okay, well, in that case, we're going in. <laughs> They're not actually all that fast. Oh, snap. I thought our, our health was just going to go whoop. <laughs> Awful. No. Uh, looks like uh, it's pretty slow, actually. All right, Isaac, this is it. You're down to your final hit. I think. I hope. Watch him just blow up my whole house in the next stage. <laughs> ah, you didn't. I don't think you. Uh... Yeah, I think you might be gone now. I think we might have got him. Actually, actually killed him. He dropped a sharpness one stone knife. That's nothing too exciting. I like how our goal with the side project here was to recover our health, and now uh, we've ended up losing all our health again. <laughs> Fighting that guy. Uh, we had a little bit of a cave in here, nothing too major, just uh, some blocks here fell down, which we'll have to fix. And we're getting close here. I cannot believe how expensive this actually is, though. This is crazy. Um. So I think we're going to make another 64 of these walls, and we should have enough then. But we're almost out of straw, and we've uh, used up a lot of that clay we just mined, too. Alright. Last little batch here should do it. And... There we go. So another 64. So we got to line all the walls now with this stuff. Make, like, a total sealed area. And it's only going to be like a too high room here. Like, we're not doing anything crazy big or anything. Okay. This one. Like so. So it's going to be like a 7x7 seven seven on the inside here only, actually. Too tall. Um, But we got to like make everything airproof. Make it sealed. Um, So now for this part, we got to build sort of like an airlock, I believe. So that no hot air can get in to, to warm up the cellar. So I think what we'll do, we're going to do like a double door system to keep the air in here. So one door will be here. I think that works. And then the other one, um, I don't know if we're allowed to put it here. We might need one air space between. I guess we can experiment with it. But yeah, basically, whenever we enter this, we never want both doors open. We only want to open one at a time. So we'll go through like so, and then open this one and then close it. Kind of like an airlock. All right, so let's uh, let's see what this thing has to say. Is it complete? A block prevents the seller from working correctly. I think that might be the torch. Oh, it just, it just activated. So it used up one of the ice blocks. It says the temperature is 1.00. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So if we open this, well, I guess maybe let's see what happens if we leave these both open. Does that, does that make this go up? Oh, it is going up. So it's 1.08 now. So we got to make sure we leave the doors closed, right? 1.16. Let's see if it'll go back down. Oh, it dropped. Okay, good. Good, good. So it went down to 1.21, 1.10. Cool. So I think that is working. So the final part of this, I don't think we're allowed to put any torches in there because it'll it'll cause it to heat up. But the final thing is to build some shelves. So let's do that. Get a few of these to try them out. 
Okay, so if we check the temperature, it says it's 1.0. I'm going to put a torch down just to see if that causes it to go up out of curiosity. And while that's going, I guess let's put down some shelves. So basically you stack these on top of each other and this is what you put your food in. Uh, actually has a lot of inventory space it looks like, so we might not need too many right now. Um, yeah, look at all that. So we throw our vegetables and stuff in here and they should keep a long time. All our food. Can you put other stuff in here? I just got a reward bag off of uh, Minotaur. Looks like it doesn't let you put non-food items in. Okay, good to know. Oh, I opened the door. That's going to mess up our, our test. Yeah, now the temperature's going up. I, I gotta get used to the airlock system. Okay, these are all emptied. Um, there is a spider upstairs. Hopefully he's not too dangerous. We gotta get this food in there. There he is. <laughs> he's got a... Oh man, that's an amazing hat. The Moonwalker. Uh-oh, we got another spider coming. Yeah, so it, it says a block prevents the seller from working correctly. So I think once we place the torch down, it, it stops it from doing anything. So we got to make sure there is no light in here. So this thing goes bye-bye. Unfortunately, that means we can't see anything when we're in there. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got... Uh, Smacked around by a mountain troll during the night there, so our health is way down again. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we have enough uh, spider string to actually get the silk cloth. We made one previously, so we just need one more. We'll do that and finish up this quest. We got some reward bags to open then. Alright, 24 pieces of string. And then we do the weavy weave. Nice, nice. All done. We got two silk cloth. We can get either wool yarn or wool. We'll definitely pick wool. Cool. Oh, the tucker bag. What is the tucker bag? That is two burlap and four jute. That's actually not that expensive. Um, where did I put all our cloth? I think it's in here. Yeah, we got two burlap there. Good, good. Is that mountain troll gone? <laughs> I'm scared to go outside. He was like at the end of the cliff there. I think we got our jute over here, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and make the tucker bag, I guess. That's pretty cheap. Nice, nice. That's all done. We get a reward bag for that. And we'll open these up, see what we get. Some rich cooked limonite. That's iron. Okay, that's good to get. And a good bag. We get some garbage. Okay, so I spent a whole bunch of time trying to figure out how to put items in this tucker bag we got. Uh, this thing's actually really cool. I guess it's for animals. We can uh, somehow pick up animals with this. Maybe only small ones. I'm not sure. Is there bigger tucker bags? Because this is a standard. Reinforced. Okay. Maybe there are better ones then. Maybe the sheep are too big. The pig over here. Let's let's see if we can pick up the pig. No. Unless I left click. Oh, it's a left click. Oh. That makes sense. So then we can wear it on our back. Um How do we get it out, guys? I can't figure it out. Right click, left click, shift right click, left click. None of them are working. Oh, we, we, th we throw it on the ground with Q. The Tucker bag is too damaged to capture the animal. No, it's a one-time use. So maybe that's why we want the reinforced one. That's It's probably uh, doesn't get damaged. Requires an iron buckle. Ooh, that's expensive. Uh-huh, okay. I see how it is. So it's a one-time use, unfortunately. Uh, I guess uh, let's go ahead and sleep here. I I think tomorrow, like once we wake up here, the animals are going to give birth. Maybe, maybe. Or it's about that time. Oh, 5th of February. Maybe it was, maybe it was the pigs. Yeah, I think we have even more baby pigs now. <laughs> this pen is like so full. 
I think we will do the humane thing here and let them over to the other side at least. Give them a tiny bit more space. Yeah, because we only had like eight little piglets and now it looks like we have close to 20. Uh, can we get out of here? Oh, I let them free. Unfortunately, I cannot pick you up, right? Oh, it, it did let me. Oh. I think it disappeared that time. Interesting. Okay, maybe... Maybe the bigger the animal, like, the more durability it takes from the bag when you use it. Could be a thing as well. Well, anyways, we do have a little bit of time left this episode and managed to get our health back up to full again. <laughs> so, we're going back into the cave. Uh, and I think this time we'll try to avoid the spawners. Let's see if we fare a little bit better. Unfortunately, because it's been so much time, a lot of our, or probably all our torches have gone out. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go to a, a less open area. It'll probably be safer. Whoa! Oh, it's not safer. <laughs> it's a, a buck shooting paper at me. I don't think those guys are very strong, though. If I recall. But there might be a spawner or something that's making them appear here. Uh, he is a, like a special one, though, maybe. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna be kind of foolish. Oh, there's more than one. Yeah, they're not, they're not that, s well, they are a little strong. It's really hard to dodge their attacks. I wonder if there's like a shield or something we could make, because that's what we really need. Most of the time we get damaged, it's from ranged attacks. So we lost about half our health there. We've got some books though, which is pretty good, because these are not cheap to make. Each one requires leather, and leather's not all that easy to get in, in this. Uh, and I found out there is actually an enchanting table we can make. An another spawner, dang. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to go a, a safer route here. It's not letting me. Okay. Uh let's go not to the left. Can we go to the right here? Maybe. That's the big the big pit. I'm seeing uh looks like more of the dungeon down there. This could be cool. Let's go down this way. We got 41 ladders, and then we're like used up all our sticks too. So we're gonna have to chop down more trees and stuff after this. All right, not seeing any ores yet, unless I'm blind. We've probably passed by lots of them. I just didn't notice them. But that is one of the main things we want to keep our eyes open for. Okay. But yeah, isn't this super cool? Like, <laughs> I love how crazy these caves are. And it's, it's like so scary going through here. Like we could die at any moment. This is, this is like what you want caving to be. And like, if we find ores, it's super awesome as well. High risk, high reward sort of situation. Uh, okay, it's looking like... what? What is this? I don't know if... Oh, it's slate. I don't think we've mined any of that before yet. Oh, it just keeps going down further and further. <laughs> Alright, I brought extra torches this time too. Because we, we plowed through those 32 pretty quickly last time. Uh, let's go the gentler route here. Getting a little bit of lag from this lighting mod. Yeah, I think we can bust these down, right? Yeah. Oh, I hear a uh, Minotaur. Oh, and more of the dungeon. Oh, snap. Oh, I'm hearing something I've never heard before. Let's go a different direction. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound very safe. I guess we can go down this way and just see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it kind of hits the floor down there a little bit, so it doesn't keep going. Gotta always make sure we have our escape planned out in case we gotta run. 
Thankfully, not too, too many mobs. Empty. We can also use our prospector pick as we go along here and try to find stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's going right to that dungeon. And this is the low-level hard stuff, too, so we should probably get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's something I've never seen before. And it's it's shooting snot balls at us. Hearing some spiders. Oh, it looks like it opens up a lot over here. Is this the main cavern, or is this a... Oh, scary white spider. Ghost spider. Huh. So I think that just spawns naturally. I don't see a spawner around for that, right? Oh, lost miner. So we get special... Oh. Yeah, we get special mobs down in the caves here. Because these guys, I don't think I've seen before. Thankfully, they're not super strong. Oh. Thought I heard one behind me. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe not. XP, like this is really good getting XP because it makes our max health go up. And then we get we get beefier. There's another zombie that way. He's coming towards us. Looks like a regular guy. Probably not too, too strong. Another spider. Oh, it's a Zek. Drop the copper ingot, I think. Regular spider. These can be a little scary. Oh, he's got some fancy pants. Uh, okay. Dropped a potato. Hello. Don't think we can grow that, though, without the seeds. I could be wrong. Oh, another spider. <laughs> Surprise spider. If I didn't hear him, that, that would have gave me a, a big jump. Okay, we're doing okay though. We're not doing too bad. Let's do a little check around here. I thought we would have found. Oh, we got some jet. Oh, it's right there. We got a laugher, laughing guy though. Um, this is jet, right? Yeah. Let's kind of hang out here for a moment, see if anything's coming. I might mine this up actually. I don't know what we would need jet for. I guess we could check. Jet turns into... Oh, coal coke. Okay. So it's kind of like coal. That could be useful down the road. I don't think we need it right now, but since we're here, we may as well grab it if we can. So apparently, if you're mining ores, it can never cave in on you. Is something I've heard. So don't have to worry about the roof collapsing here as long as I only mine the ore and not the stone. Otherwise, we'd have to set up supports and stuff here. Uh, I think I got most of what's exposed, though. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that made me jump. I didn't see that hole. Oh, there's some rich cellar right here, too. That's actually something we could really use. Just one piece exposed. Oh, there's another one there. Really hard to see this stuff. Another one there. Um, what's it saying? A big sample? Very large sample. Okay. Let's uh, check underneath here, maybe. Not really seeing a lot of it exposed. So it might be like below. Over here. Mm, no, it might just be in the cliff somewhere. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother mining that. It's a little bit high risk. Is this the main cavern? Oh yeah, this is the main cavern. Okay, so we know how to get out of here at least. That's good. That's good. Looks like this dead ends. Yep. Okay. Go over here. Oh, there's some more stuff. Bismuth. Twenty five units. Guess we'll snag some of this. Oh, ho, ho, man, this is the biggest business deposit ever. Uh, so we got uh, two stacks of jet, two stacks of bismuth in here, plus we got like another vessel full. And you can see there is a lot left still. 
Um, so I'm going to snag all I can here. And we probably won't need bismuth for a very long time after this. All right. Well, this was, uh, this was pretty crazy. Uh, if you check this out, all this that you see, this is not part of a cave. This is what I mined out all this area was solid bismuth. And there's still a few pieces uh, throughout here. But uh, we got quite a bit from this. Quite a bit. And... A lot of it has dropped down, just like you saw there, too. <laughs> um, see here, how are we going to get out of here? Is that safe? That's probably not that safe. But we'll, we'll run across. Got holes all over the place. Uh, a little bit of bismuth over here. There's more over here. I don't know if I'm going to bother mining this. Although there is quite a bit here still. We are full up of, of bismuth. There's more down there to collect if we want. We're greedy. I have to take a little bit of fall damage to get down here, though. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to get out of here because we are loaded up. Uh, I think I dropped a bunch down there, too. Yeah, you can see there's a bunch. Is that worth getting or is that kind of risky? You can see we're, we're kind of at the halfway on our water. We're running out of water, so that means we won't be able to run soon. Which is very, very risky. Oh, that was a bad time for a leg spike. <laughs> All right, that's the spider spawner that got us originally. We are going to run away from that. I think we picked up most of the bismuth. Now, how did we get down here? I don't remember. I think we came in over there, right? Must have. I, I remember coming over here, and then we... I think our ladder's over here to get back up. Yeah. Cool, cool. So that was a, that was a lot of fun, and we uh, did pretty pretty well. I haven't added up all the bismuth, but uh, all in all, I would say that was a success. Full inventory, full of loot. I guess we can probably check it now. So yeah, look at all this. Uh, all these containers are full as well. All four of these. Bam. Two stacks of jet in there. The rest of this is bismuth. I guess we did have another stack of ladders, too. Get in the way. Uh huh. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We're heading back home now, and I think we'll wrap up the episode here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun today. And until next time, take care. Have a good day. Bye bye.